Hello and welcome, fellow and aspiring activists. I'm Monique Mekon. I am Buki Ogunrinola. And I'm Alyssa Wanaina. Today in this podcast, we'll be exploring the intersections of identities. I feel as if we need to first identify what these identities are. Um, intersections are the various parts of a person's identity that makes a significant experience in how they experience their lives. A person's identity has many parts to it that cross over and blend. Identity is not uniform. What, what are some of the intersections that we could tell them about? I think there are so many, but two I think that we should elaborate off of are gender and sexuality. You want to elaborate off of that? So gender is more of a spectrum. It's not just male or female. Uh, there are people that it identify with gender non-conforming, so that means that no matter what their sex is, they don't identify with boy or girl. And then there are people that are gender fluid, who no matter what their sex is, they identify with both boy and girl. And then there are people that are transgender who their gender doesn't match the sex that they were assigned at birth. And then as far as sexuality goes, there is, of course, straight, gay, lesbian. Um, you may also know bisexual, which means that you are attracted to boys and girls. And then there's also pansexual for people who are attracted to boys, girls, and then anybody else on the scale, like just regardless of gender. And then asexual, which are people that are not sexually attracted to any gender, any person. Um, yeah. And some others to go off of that would be race, religion, age, physical and mental ability, immigration status, socioeconomic status, and obviously many more. We put value on some identities more than others, creating a hierarchy of race, ability, religion, sexual expression, and the others that you listed, and many more. On top of this hierarchy, um, we value whiteness over people of color. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, being able-bodied comes over being from a place of different abilities. Um, being Christian over being Muslim or not believing in a religion at all. Um, being straight over being a part of the LGBTQIA community as well. You may be wondering if you can have more than one intersection, which the answer would be, of course, yes. Um, you can have multiple intersections to your identity. For example, you can be white and be transgender. Um, or another example, you could be a person of color, which means you're just not white, and be able body and also be gay. In my situation, um, in my intersections, I identify as also a woman of color, but I'm also um, a black woman and also a first generation immigrant from Nigeria. So uh, my parents immigrated over here, um, giving me a better life, but in that they also added on to my intersections as well. Um, being a part of multiple communities, identify with multiple struggles in those communities, um, keeping in mind that those struggles also affect and impact how I live my everyday life. So from school, to work, to basketball, um, all the intersections and all the communities I, I um, coincide with um, essentially like sometimes um, demonize me as an individual um, and they therefore impact how I live my life. As for myself personally, I am a young woman of color who does not identify as being straight and these intersections are a part of who I am and they definitely contribute to the way that I live my life as well as the experiences that I may have. They often hold me back, which I find to be very difficult, especially since it makes it, it's a struggle to create change, not just amongst my own life, but amongst the culture that perpetuates these kinds of oppressions. I think with that comes restrictive lifestyles and or experiences, and I think that to really make a change and to make people feel more comfortable, we really need to recognize these intersections and make them something that people feel confident about and comfortable with, as, a, as opposed to a limitation that they may have. So you may be wondering how you can identify specific intersections within yourself and others. Um, allowing yourself to be aware of the different intersections and one can help you process an understanding what intersections are and how they affect people's lives. Why do you think that they should care or why do you think they matter? Intersections are incredibly important as they have an opportunity to shape and contribute to people's living situations and backgrounds in both negative ways and positive ways. Um, while you or someone you know might not feel connected to a certain aspect of their identity, someone else might be very attached to theirs. Thank you so much. Wrapping it up now, you're one step closer to being the aspiring activist that you may want to be. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, a quote from Audre Lorde. There is no such thing as a single issue struggle because we do not live single issue lives. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.